the week at 6 a.m. We party at like 6.45. We have one by 8. We have two by 11. Train by 1. Meal 3 by 4. Go 4 by 6. Scale 5 by 9. Need bed by 10. So right now I am about 15 weeks out from competing at nationals down in Texas. And I checked in the other day I had about, I believe, 193.4 pounds. How'd you check in the I left Florida because it just wasn't a very conducive environment to my goals. I didn't feel very content there. I feel like I didn't have a lot of people around me. It wasn't in that good of an environment. Mm -hmm as good as it could be, right? So I came down here because it's closer to my coach. I have family down here. Uh, I know the area. I know the gyms out here. And I just thought it would overall be a much better environment to do my prep here. Well, the pros would be, for one, definitely, obviously, the weather compared to Florida. Mm -hmm. you know, I feel like I thrive in cold weather. I don't know if that's just from me growing up on the East Coast, but whenever it's like winter time, it feels like it's just grind time, it feels like. I'm a lot more just in tune with myself, but you know, the gyms in Florida were nice, but I was limited to only one, and out here, uh, there's a couple that are going to be really good for me to be able to train at, and I'll be able to get much better workouts in at those gyms, which is a huge factor. Training lately has been fucking terrible, honestly. Ever since I've been moving and the whole process, you know, it's just been super catastrophic. I've missed a lot of sessions honestly so getting back to the swing of things and just getting acclimated in the gym again and having good workouts is something that i really am trying to prioritize right now so that i can obviously you know get the most out of this prep right now being 15 weeks out with the situation that i'm in it's definitely extremely stressful it's a lot more stressful than my last prep i have a lot of shit going on but you know, I get stressed and then I take a step back and I try not to worry too much because that only makes things worse. So I keep myself calm and try to stay focused on the task at hand. Why do I compete? Huh. I was introduced to bodybuilding in the competitive aspect when I was 14 years old. And that's almost <gasps> over 10 years ago now. And I remember that was when the men's physique division first started. And I just remember seeing that and thinking that's what I want to look like. And there was, then I got more into the actual, just learning about bodybuilding, you know, the golden era, looking at all those guys like Flex, Lee Haney, all that. I was like, I really want to look like that. But at that time, you couldn't look like that. They were either a mass monster or you were in their physique. So I ended up doing this physique. And then classic physique came out and I was like, wow, okay, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be perfect for what I want to, you know, basically look like. And that's what I did. I just worked towards that. And that's where I am now. But to answer the question, why do I compete? I feel like there's a much deeper meaning to that that I honestly might not even know the answer to it. I think it might be more so me trying to prove something to myself because I've told myself for so long that this is what I'm capable of and I know I can do it. So now it's a matter of if I don't do it, I would always live with myself. 
essentially thinking that I'm failure. So it's a matter of proving myself right and at the same time proving other people wrong. That always told me that I couldn't for so long. I think that's ultimately what drives me. Come on! Easy. Two. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh. What do you have? I have three more. Fire! 